Hi, welcome to the best of cat series. Let's have a look at the next question on arithmetic. And as usual, if you haven't solved the question earlier, please pause the video over here, solve the question and then look at the video. The question is a question on time, speed, distance, but a pretty interesting one. Two cars travel the same distance starting at 10 and 11 respectively on the same day. So one of the cars has started one hour later. They reach their common destination at the same point of time. So what do you understand? That means car one for whatever hours it has traveled, suppose it has just traveled for X hours if I say, then car two has definitely traveled for X minus one hours because it has started at 11 but they reach their destination same. So distance is constant. We know distance is constant in the question, right? Now let's continue the question. They reach the common destination at the same point of time. If the first car traveled for 6 hours, that means they have told us X is 6 hours at least. Now understand the important thing over here. They haven't said that it has traveled for 6 hours. It has traveled for 6 hours at least. That means it could have traveled for 6 hours, 7 hours, 8 hours, 9, 10, 100, I don't know. But whatever that be, the second car would have traveled for 5 hours at least. The difference would remain constantly 1, right? What has the question asked? Then find the highest possible value of the percentage by which the speed of the second car exceeds that of the first car. Now, if I assume this time are 6 and 5 first, let's assume time taken by car 1 is 6 and time taken by car 2 is 5. What do we know when distance is constant? Do we agree that speed of car 2 upon speed of car 1 will be equal to time of car 1 upon time of car 2? Inversely proportional speed and time when distance is constant. Therefore, I know in this case speed of car 2 upon speed of car 1 will be 6 upon 5. But I am not very really sure whether this is the only answer possible. What if car 1 did 7 hours and car 2 did 6 hours? That would be another possibility. Vice versa, it could be 8 and 7, 9 and 8 and so on, so on till any value. Let's take one more value randomly, 1, 0, 1 upon 100, right? So, which of this is largest? So, if you've learned your fractions and percentages well, you would have known that 6 upon 5 is 120%, which means car 2 is 120% more than car 1. But 7 upon 6 will be less than 20%. The extra part will be 1 upon 6, which is 16.67%. 8 upon 7, the extra part is 1 upon 7, so it will be 14.28. And same way, if you go here, 101 upon 100, the extra part is only 1 upon 100, which is 1%. So can you see as you're going ahead, the difference, the percentage difference in their speeds is decreasing. We want the highest possible. And hence, the answer will be 20%, which is the fourth option.